Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix and once again I am joined with Minho. <laughs> Hello. Yep. I, I'm just now realizing that your name just has the word ho in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chin ho. <laughs> God dang it. Not again. <laughs> I really I don't need to do this now and during our freaking scrum meetings. <laughs> what the fuck is... Do you, do you actually have a big chin? I never noticed. No, I don't have a big oh. chin. He just does it because it rhymes. Oh. <laughs> At least I don't think I do. Yeah, I really thought your your name was spelled M I N H O E. <laughs> <laughs> like Min Ho. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I came from a family of farmers, so yeah. they just named me a tool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you sound like a tool. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Well, the the wheel has spoken for us, and it has landed my, on my favorite uh, crazy scientist from Gen 5, and that happened to be Corez. So uh, I'm very excited for this reading. <laughs> I've, I've had this book saved in the library for, like, ever, and I can't wait to finally read it. Let's I go. Can, yeah, I can, I can sense your excitement right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking up images of Colrez to visualize. Yeah. He's like a crazy hairdo that looks like the Internet Explorer logo. And he has blonde hair and blue eyes. <laughs> and he uses metal type Pokemon. Is he a scientist? Yeah, he's a scientist for Team Plasma. Ah, uh, you like all these uh, spark people. Yeah. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> you like Harvey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's been a running joke so far with my friends that like any time I get into a, a piece of media and there's a green hair character, I instantly like them. So <laughs> the bar is low. Do you know any green haired smart people? Oh Zoro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw a meme like that on my, on my TikTok that came up. It was like, it's like me watching One Piece. This motherfucker shows up in his Zoro, like on episode three, I think. And the, the person just goes, Google, show me this guy's balls, please. Oh, God. <laughs> no, it's based. Based, that's me. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna read Korra's instead. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll read a Zoro X Reader. I know. Maybe. I, I can't remember if it's on the wheel or not, but definitely Zosan's gonna gonna be a possibility. Still waiting for Furnace X Crafting Table. Yeah, we're gonna get it. There's, we're probably gonna read two, because there's some shitty ones out there, so... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is labeled complete, so... We don't have to wait so long <laughs> for it to update, which is good. How many chapters are in this? Uh, there are 20. 20, nice. Yeah, it looks like we kind of, based off of the titles, it looks like we start in the Aloha region, and then we kind of go into Unova. Mmm. Yes, yeah, so that's gonna be interesting. As you begin your Pokemon journey, you meet a scientist named Colrez. It's love at first sight. He invites you to stay at the, the Tide Song Hotel with him. Then, things start to get interesting. Now, this is just label complete. I don't know if there's any mature things in there, because I never got to read this book, so... Chroma Alola Colrez Pokemon X Reader. Yes. No mature tags. That's good. Watch, watch it like be like a jump scare. Like we we read like we we're, were like on like chapter eleven and then some like freaky shit gets going on. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Maybe that'll happen. Anyway, this is an X Reader. So, what is the name of our character? Apparently we're from the uh, region, which is kind of like Hawaii, so... Hawaiian. Hmm. Well, I chose the last one, so maybe you should choose this one. Oh yeah, you named the girl fucking Bill. <laughs> yeah, <idiot>. my <laughs> I'm Trying to think... What the- Will? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> God damn it. It's just- it's just names that rhyme with Bill. <laughs> <laughs> well... Well, Sun and Moon came out on the 3DS, so I feel like we should name her 3DS. 3D- Alright. <laughs> to be like, yo, 3DS, what's up? 
I'm also gonna do like F F dash N just in case it's first name instead. So three D S. I don't know if last name will come up. We'll fill it in as it goes. But for now. What if your first name's three and her last name's D S? Oh my god, I like that. Yeah, but it's like a Latin name, like D S three D S. Oh my god, that's so smart. I wasn't thinking like that. <laughs> I don't know if there's any Latin last names of D S, but I have no idea either. I oh, I know if, there is. I don't yeah. know if, her, if we have a last name, but well, I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. So her her her, her name first name three D S. Nice. Uh, if the last name comes up, I feel like we should name her like three D S Light. Is there a 3DS light? I feel like I there no is. Idea. I know there was a DS light. That's the one I had. I think there was a 3DS XL. I don't know. I only I remember one. that one, yeah. I had a DS, a DSi, and a 3DS. That's it. Wow, you got three. Yeah. And then my sister got a 2DS. <laughs> Alrighty, what the fuck am I fl Oh, I got this sticker. We can flip this sticker I have. Flip the sticker, alright. Yeah, so do you want to be the side that, like, has the cool graphic, or the side that just has white? Um, uh, white. Okay. Eh. It's white. I'm just realizing as I'm picking this up off the floor, there's a penny on the floor, so we could actually, like, flip the coin. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsies. Do that one. Flip it so that I'd flip several times. Yeah. Alrighty, it, it's your turn, man. Go for oh, it. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. If you win, then you lose. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? If you win, you lose. <laughs> okay. Uh, chapter one: Choosing your starter. You couldn't believe it. You are finally eighteen. Today was the day you would get your first very first Pokemon. Of course, most people got their starter when they turned 10, but your mom was pretty overprotective of you. She had made you wait until you were 18 to get your first starter. You had been kind of angry that she made you wait so long, but it's not like any of that mattered anymore because you were finally getting a Pokemon. Let's go. You slipped on a comfortable t-shirt and your favorite pair of shorts and ran out of the bedroom. Not so fast, your mom said. She handed you a plate of pancakes, which you quickly wolfed down. Did you sleep well last night? She asked. Yep, you lied. You could barely sleep at all last night because you were so excited. Before you leave, I want you to take this, your mom said, handing you a 5,000 Poké Dollar bill, about 50 USD. Thanks, mom, you said, and gave her a hug. You grabbed your bag and rushed out the door. You run to Professor Kukui's lab. Is it Kukui? Yeah, you said it right the first time. Alright, Professor Kukui's lab, eager to get your first Pokemon. When you walked inside, your friend Hao was... Is it Hao? Oh? Yeah, Hao. Hao, alright. You're doing <laughs> <Nailing>. great. <laughs> You're on a roll. <laughs> Plus two. When you walked inside, your friend Hao was already there. He was holding a Poplio and talking to a girl with blonde hair. Welcome, I'm Lily, Kukui's assistant, the girl said. He should be back any moment now, Lily continued. Sure enough, Kukui ran through the door with his rock rope chasing him. Woo! We gotta do that again sometime, he said to his Pokemon. Anyways... Yes, no, it's time to... Uh, huh? What did you say? <laughs> YN? What is YN? It's, it's supposed to be your name, but we're substituting you with 3DS. <laughs> oh, shoot. I got it. <laughs> Did you not do the YN replacer? No. Oh my god, I'm so disappointed. Let me do it right now. Cut the video. Cut the <laughs> oh my god. What'd you do? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean you don't Everything's know? Everything's 3DS now. I don't, what, I don't know what you- I well, always have to do a screenshot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a different language. Of course, most people got their starter when 3DS, the 3DS, turn 3DS, the 3DS. <laughs> Anyways, 3DS, it's time to choose a Pokemon, he said facing you. Now, he took out two Pokeballs and opened them up. Um, Professor? Isn't there supposed to be three Pokemon, you asked? 
Sorry, I should let you choose first, especially since it's your birthday. I apologize. But this guy was just so cute, he said, holding up Poplio. I can put him back if you really want him, Hal sadly said. He replied, no, it's all right. You can keep him if you really want him. Hal had been nice enough to wait to get his Pokemon, even though he could have gotten it back when he turned 10. It only sense, it only made sense to let him choose first. Man, he's just a you fucking water Pokemon. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> he's the good Isn't there, I swear, there's like difficulty in Pokemon. Isn't like fire easiest, water medium, and then grass is like hardest? Unless I'm yeah. wrong. I, well, grass has a lot of weaknesses. And then yeah. water only has two and fire has three. I always choose fire. Yeah, I always choose water because water has so many different, like, you can give a water type, like, any move set to, like, diversity the moves. And it only has two weaknesses. So that's, like, that's, like, an A-plus in my book. <laughs> True, but if you choose fire, then you're good against grass. And you can choose, or you can, uh, learn lightning type moves, or... Is it like thunder type moves as a oh, okay electric type moves as a fire type Pokemon? <laughs> I, I think some Pokemon can. Yeah, I know. Like I remember Pokemon playing like thunder. Pokemon Silver, and I like raised a Typhlosion, and I taught him like Thunderbolt, and I just Typhlosion won every fight. Typhlosion can learn Thunderbolt. The fuck? Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> to be fair, I I didn't really play. I I played Heart Gold. That's it. But I didn't really. Oh, like that it. one. Yeah. I never played, like, OG Gen 2. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I was, like, a kid. Yeah. God, I started uh, in, like, Gen 5. I was, like, 8. Or, like, 10. I really liked Gen 5, though. Yeah. Especially the music. Dude, Gen 5 music goes hard. <laughs> it does. You looked at the remaining two Pokemon. Quickly explained. The black one is called Litten, and it evolves into Incineroar. Littens can be a bit stubborn at first, but if you raise them right, they can be incredibly loyal and fearless. And the orange Pokemon is called Rowlet, and it evolves into Dudesai. Rowlets are extremely friendly and adorable as well. Wait a minute. You want it? <laughs> wait, Rowlet's what? not or wait, is Rowlet orange? <laughs> I thought it was Rowlet. Like a tan. Yeah, I thought the so owl boy was tan. I didn't think he was orange. The fuck. <laughs> Alright. I thought, yeah, he's like a tan beige. Mm -hmm. That ain't orange. Yeah. Maybe he's colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Browlets are extremely friendly and adorable as well. You wanted to pick Litten because it looked so cool, but you didn't think you had the time or patience to raise such a majestic creature. You decided to pick Rowlet instead because it was so adorable. Quickly gave your Rotom Dex and took you to Route 1 to show you how to catch a Pokemon. After he was done, he gave you 10 Pokeballs. You ran around in the grass and found a Grubbin. Oh, Grubbin. Grubbin. Yeah, it's like an electric bug. <laughs> Be careful so we can catch it, you said to your Rowlet. But Rowlet was still inexperienced and landed a critical hit, making the wild Pokemon faint. It's alright, we'll catch the next Pokemon, you said to your disappointed Rowlet. You caught a Rockruff, a Pichu, and a Growlithe, and took your team to the Poke Center on Route 2 to get some rest. You entered Verdant Cavern and ready to begin your first trial. It consisted of defeating a bunch of Rattata. You entered a mysterious room and grabbed the Z-Crystal off of the pedestal. The ground around you began to shake and the biggest gumshoes you had ever seen appeared. Growlithe kept on tackling it, but it wasn't enough to defeat this monstrous beast. The totem Pokemon got angry and attacked Rowlet, making her faint. Eventually, Rockruff defeated the Gumshoes by using Rock Throw. He grabbed the Z-Crystal and ran away before any other Pokemon could attack. Parentheses. Sorry, I know it's pretty boring right now, but things are going to get way better in Chapter 3 when I add Chloris to the story. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, they're like, the Chapter 3 is where it's get real spicy, just to let you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> so far, it's Rowlet x Raider. Yeah. <laughs> Ew, no. We're not, what? For, we're not here for that. <laughs> you don't like birds? Well, birds are cool, but like, we're not reading the, about like a Pokemon X reader. The book. I guess you're not fly. Yeah. Are you saying that because it's a bird pun? Yeah, I just winged it there. Oh, fuck you, man. 
Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Alright, I guess that you- I didn't think that chapter would be so short, so I guess I'll read the full chapter for this one. <laughs> let, me, let me look at this. Oh, what the- this chapter is super short. Yeah. Yeah, chapter two, Catching Bygone. I forgot- is Bygone even in Aloha? It, it's been a while since I played Sun and Moon, so... What is Bygone? Yeah, it's like a dragon type Pokemon. I think it's a- Cameron, is it, is Bygone a pseudo-legendary? Bygone? Yeah, Bygone. B-A-G-O-N? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, he's super good. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's he like evolves the Salamance. into, uh, Sal yeah, Salamance. Yeah. yeah, I'm so good at pronouncing but things. But Bygones be Bygones. Yeah. Is it Bygone or Bagon? I think it's Bagon. Uh, you should not ask me how to pronounce things. <laughs> I'm the last After person. After each time I see a name, I'm just like, oh, uh, I don't want to butcher this. Yeah, and meanwhile... <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, I'm in the corner tr trying to pronounce some word like... Like, Luau. Luau. <laughs> 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 Luau. <laughs> Alright, chapter two, Catching Bygone, let's see. You head to Route 3 so you can find stronger Pokemon to battle. As you walk into the grass, a mysterious blue Pokemon appeared. Want a battle? That way we can both get stronger, you asked it. The creature nodded and had an approval, as if it was saying yes. Alright, go Rowlet! Dude, it's so bad matchup. Grass is not good against Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> you said as you, as, you as you flung her Pokeball into the air. Oh wait, are Rowlet's a girl? That's so cool. <laughs> nice. Dude, getting a, a female starter is so rare, it's like 15%. <laughs> Wait, really? I don't know the stats between that, so... Yeah, for starters, it's more common for you to get a male than a female. Does it matter? No, not really, it's just kind of bragging rights that you like, Hey, I got a female starter, first try. <laughs> <laughs> the wild bygone let, let her attack first. She used Razor Leaf, but her grass type move did not affect the bygone very much. Fucking told you. <laughs> <laughs> you switched to Growlithe, but he immediately fainted after the bygone used Hydro Pump. What the fucking bygone learned Hydro Pump? <laughs> <laughs> what the? Heck? What level is this bygone? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a level 100 bygone, and you just decided to try to fight it. Yeah, it's like one of those like, like you know those people that try to like, like, like hatch eggs to get shinies. So, like, someone was trying to get a bygone, and they kept releasing them into the wild, and it just happened to get, like, Hydro Pump, and they're like, check this shit out. <laughs> you switched to Pichu, and she used Hidden Power. It was super effective against Bygone, and he slammed against the ground. He threw a Pokeball at him, but he broke out of it, eager to keep battling. Pichu attacked again and hurt the wild Pokemon, and it just as he got up and used Bite. You're a tough little guy, aren't you? You asked in a de the determined bygone. <laughs> Pichu, use hidden power one last time. You shouted. Back on fell. Yeah, bygone fell to the ground again. You threw a pokeball at him. The ball shook three times. Bygone allowed you to capture him. The pokeball clicked. I'll take you to the Pokemon Center to get you healed up. You said. As your Pokemon were healed, you took them out of their pokeballs. You guys sure did amazing today. You explained, hugging them. Thanks for helping me catch such a strong Pokemon, you said to Pichu. You gave her a, a rainbow bean and pet her. I want a rainbow bean, the fuck? What does the rainbow bean do? I forgot. I know you can give them little beans as like treats in Sun and Moon, but I didn't I didn't know there was a rainbow one. Oh yeah, I actually remember beans now from Sun and Moon. Yeah, I'm gay, let me get the fucking rainbow bean. <laughs> <laughs> she began to glow and grow into a Pichu. You had heard somewhere that Pichu evolves when it becomes friends with the trainers. You looked out the window and realized it was getting dark. You couldn't believe that you just got your first Pokemon today. How did you ever live without Pokemon? You never remembered that you saw an inn on Route 2 earlier. You decided it was time to take a rest. Come on, guys. You said as you carried your Pokemon in your arm. All of them? <laughs> okay. All of them. Yeah. The guy, the, like, the Growlithe, you got the, the, the Rowlet. You got the Pikachu, the Gyarados, the, the, the Cloyster. Yeah, we're like falling over. <laughs> the 3DS cannot handle all these Pokemon at once. <laughs> you, 
As you check into the hotel, all your Pokemon except for the Bygone laid down on the bed to sleep. Bygone was so full of energy and was running around the room. You laid on the couch and turned on the TV. A little while later, Bygone walked over to you and snuggled on your lap. Before you knew it, you drifted off to sleep. Short chapter, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe this shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're gonna get Colrez in this in this one. Oh my god. <laughs> I cannot wait. Wow, Colrez. Yeah. You got a nice picture of him, so you remember what he looked like. Glasses Internet Explorer, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I should watch the Gen 5 uh, anime. Because I know he's in there. And I know N's also in there, so... Worth it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Alright, th this is all you do, this is all you. Alright. Chapter 3, Colrez. He woke up and saw that Bagon was still asleep on your lap. He was so cute when he was asleep. He carried him over to the bed and put him with the rest of your sleeping Pokemon. He went into the bathroom and got dressed. When you came back out, your Pokemon were awake and running around. He returned to each of them to their Pokeballs and went outside. For some reason, you had a strange feeling that something important would happen today. You were daydreaming about all the adventures you would have today when you ran into somebody. You looked up to see who it was, and you realized it was no ordinary stranger. He had the most beautiful golden eyes you had ever seen. He stared deep into his mesmerizing topaz eyes. Damn, they went all out. They gleamed in the bright Olulan sunlight. They were like a portal to another world. Something too beautiful to exist on Earth. Just, there's shit. a whole paragraph describing his eyes. Yo. I love that. That's Earth. his intro. Yep. They described his eyes as a meta portal. Yeah. Hello there, he said in a strangely comforting voice. My name is Colrez, and the theme of my research is bringing out the potential of Pokemon. And what would your name be? You nervously replied. Um, 30, yes. What a nice name. I'll be sure to remember it. <laughs> he continued. Perhaps you can use this to your advantage. He handed you the TM for flame charge, and for one perfect moment, your hands touched. <gasps> oh my Dang! God. Where's the mature tag? <laughs> They're holding hands. Label mature. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the mature tag? Jeez. Colin saw something sparkle in your bag. Hmm? Is that a Z crystal? You nodded. Maybe we can have a battle sometime. Then. Please meet me at the Tide Song Hotel on Akala Island, if it isn't too much trouble. I'll be seeing you, 3DS, he said in a gentle voice. You watched him as he walked away. How is it possible to have a crush on someone you met less than five minutes ago? Is it really that perfect? These thoughts and many more swarmed your mind as you let your Pokemon out of, your, out of their balls. Your Pokemon hugged you and you fed all of them Pokebeans. You decided to train your Pokemon so that they would be ready to battle Colrids. Rowlet evolved into a Dartrix, and your first Pokemon was no longer a baby. She was a teenager now, and she looked like she was going through some sort of emo phase. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> That's, yeah, Rowlet looks like that. <laughs> she squawked as you feed her more beans. You walked home, realizing that you had never ever shown your mom your first Pokemon, like you had promised to. On the way back, you caught a Zor Zorua. Zorua? What, what Pokemon is that? Oh, it's the it's the black fox that can like it has the illusion where if it copies the last Pokemon in your party. Ah, that's like Ditto. Yeah, but cooler. <laughs> fox Ditto. <laughs> yeah. After you had shown your mom all your Pokemon, you went into your room to brush your new Zorua. She was pretty shy, so she wasn't a big fan of your mom. Zorua looked over at Bagon and they began playing with each other. Zorua transformed into him and they chased each other around the, around the house. Pikachu and Growlithe were eating some berries you had given them. Rockruff and Dartrix were playing with a ribbon they had found. As you watched your Pokemon play, there was a knock on the door. And you answered it. And Hal walked inside. 3PS, where have you been? The professor's been looking all over for you. Sorry. I've been kind of busy, he said, and immediately thought of Colrez. 
Anyway, why does the professor need me? Hao answered, He's taking me to a call island on his boat, and he wanted to know if he wanted to come with us. When Hao said a call island, he thought of Polras again. Why couldn't you stop thinking about him so much? Because he's hot. So you want, <laughs> <laughs> so you want to come, right? Hao asked. Of course I'll go, he said excitingly. You like you described his eyes in a in a whole ass paragraph. Of course you're in it. Like you could describe his eyes in a book. Yeah, that's all. He, that's all they described of, of about Coraz is that he was no ordinary stranger and he had like beautiful topaz eyes. Beautiful is that his defining eyes. feature? I don't. I didn't think so. I thought there was a bigger feature to to, to be held. <laughs> I'm talking about the hair. I'm talking about. the hair. Alright. What do you think Korra's best feature is? Probably the- well, I don't know. I Probably his intelligence. His intelligence? He's very smart. I like it when men make me feel dumb sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize these chapters would be so short. <laughs> Yeah, they're pretty short. Yeah, it always looked longer when you pull it up on the phone, but... <laughs> Alright, chapter 4. A Akala Island. I don't think I said that right. <laughs> Akala Island. Yep, that's it. Maybe it's Akala. It's probably Akala, yeah. Not the way I said it. <laughs> Alcohol Island. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know someone who's, whose favorite island would be Alcohol Island. <laughs> <laughs> As you climb onto the boat, you were a bit nervous. What would you say to Koras when you saw him again? You try not to think about it too much. 3DS, before I set sail, is there anything you need to do back in Me Mele Mele Island? Fuck, I thought I said Mimi Mi Island. <laughs> Mimi? <laughs> Mimi Island. Kak Kakui asked. Nope, you said, and the boat departed. Hey, 3DS. What are you gonna do when we get to? <laughs> I almost said alcohol. alcohol. Yeah. When we get to alcohol, <laughs> how asked? Well, there's a friend of mine who wants to meet me there. He said, "What's their name?" How asked? You replied, "His name is Korez." How tease? Wait, it's a guy. I bet you two will make a good couple. Why is it always the fucking fanfictions that do this shit? <laughs> do what? I don't, it's always a stupid trope like that. We get introduced to like that love interest, and like we talk to some other character about it, and they're like, "You guys would be so cute together." <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it hasn't even been a full day yet. <laughs> I bet if like Cow asked us to describe Coraz, we would have been like, "Oh, his topaz eyes were like a portal to another world." <laughs> 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 Not even mentioning his weird ass hair. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even met him before, you said, harsher than you wanted to. You were a bit angry at Hal for making fun of Korra's, but not for long, though, because it was impossible to stay angry at him. You let out your Pokemon so they can enjoy the nice view of the water. As they what seemed like forever, you finally reached Alcohol Island. <laughs> yes. You thank Ka Kakui for taking you there and ran out the boat. You use your ROM decks to find your way to... Tai Song Hotel. It was a tall white building with a beach below behind it. Well, here goes nothing, you thought as you opened the door. You walked to the reception desk and said, I'm looking for a guy named Chorus. He asked me to meet him there. She looked for something upon her computer and said, You mean the scientist? He's in room 264. I'm pretty sure that was illegal what she just did. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you yeah. can't just give out room numbers like I'm looking for this person, where is he? Yeah, and they're like, oh yeah, room 218. <laughs> you ran into the elevator, the palms of your hands begin to sweat, arms weak, mom spaghetti. She's nervous. <laughs> I was literally gonna say, I was literally gonna say that. <laughs> and you were sure that it wasn't from excitement or nervousness. Oh, if it wasn't, uh, whatever. <laughs> it was from spaghetti. Yeah, it was from the spaghetti we were eating. <laughs> Specifically your mom's. Yeah. <laughs> and there's vomit on our sweater already. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we eventually found Chorus's room. You knocked on the door. A few seconds later, he opened it and said, Oh, it's you, 3DS. I was hoping 
it was you would show up. Anyway, how about we go outside and have a quick battle? Sure, why not? You said, trying to sound casual. When when you got outside, Cobra sent out his Magnemite. You sent out Growlithe, and before you could attack, Magnemite used Thunder Wave, slowing your Pokemon down. Growlithe, lose Flame Charge, you told Growlithe. Cobra smiled as he saw that you had used the TM that he already given you. Watch it be like we didn't. You just grab the ready new flame charge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wasn't you. I already learned that. Yeah, he learned that naturally, and then you gave me the TM afterwards. But you can take credit if you want. <laughs> Curry smiles. He saw that you had used the TM. You were, you were too busy staring at his adorable smile, when his Pokemon attacked again. Magnemite, use Volt Switch. Uh, Chorus said, switching out his injured Pokemon. He sat on Porygon, and you decided to switch out to Growlithe because he didn't look that well. You sent out Rock Ruff. Use. I thought this said. Wait, Breakneck Blit the fu- Oh, it's a Z Crystal move. No wonder why I had no idea what that was. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I thought it was just like, Rock Ruff, break his ankles! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess we use Breakneck Blitz, you said. The Z-Crystal he was holding began to glow, and he unleashed his full force Z-move. Korra's Chorus, Porygon fainted, and he returned it to the Pokeball. I'd really hate to interrupt right now, but we should probably go back inside. That Wait, that, that was it? He, he got his ass beat, he's like, well, I guess we should go inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't even trying. Let's go back. Yeah. He was right. You were so absorbed in the battle that you barely noticed that it's the pouring rain. You went inside before you could get sick. Bro, all the I've been in many Pokemon battles. They're fine to be in the rain. They're all going rain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the rain is supposed to, supposed to last all night, so I'll get you a hotel room, Kora said. He talked to receptionists and tried to get a room, but they were all taken by the trainers on the for their island challenge. There's no more rooms left, but you can stay in mine if you want. Yes! I fucking called it. <laughs> it's not a slow burner. Yep. <laughs> Watch like next chapter, some like real spicy shit and we have to cut it. <laughs> yeah, you get slimed. Yeah, oh, I don't think. <laughs> you get slimed by Ditto. Ew, no. <laughs> And he turns into Colrez. Yeah, it was like a did with the whole time. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should be making fanfics. Dude, we need to put that on the wheel. We have to write our own fanfiction. Ditto X Colrez. <laughs> God, no, no, no. Cursed. Yeah, it's some cursed that shit. <laughs> oh, shit, where was I? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Colrez told you. Thank you, you said, trying not to smile. Trying not to smile, what the fuck? I would be smiling. <laughs> when you entered his hotel room, he said, You can take your Pokemon out if you want, I don't mind. You let out all six of your Pokemon and they f and fed them some berries. Hey, 3DS, if it would be alright if I looked at your Pokemon? Cora's ass. You answered, Sure, go ahead. He just takes her shit and leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, see ya. Yeah. Cobra seemed interested in Pikachu and Growlithe for some reason. He looked at them and said, Some Pokemon require special stones to evolve. I can help you evolve your Pokemon if you want me to. Really? Thank you so much, you said. Cobra has handed your Pokemon two stones, and Pikachu and Growlithe evolved into Raichu and Argonite. How the fuck is that Arcanine gonna be in this hotel room? <laughs> That's a big ass dog. <laughs> Wait, does Pikachu evolve from a Thunderstorm? Is, or a Thunderstone? Or is it yeah. just leveling? Thunderstone. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Oh, don't worry, I know the Pokemon lore. I forget. Also, like, if you give them the stone too fast, then it's not gonna learn all the good moves. Core is just fucking, like... Nuke exactly. Us. Yeah, what the fuck? You should've said no! You should've taken the He's stone! He's grieving. Yeah, he- yeah. <laughs> Kora's also seemed interested in Bygone. This is an extremely rare Pokemon you have here. Many Bygone dream of becoming a Salaman so they can fly. Bygone has the ab the unique ability to recognize potential in trainers. They will only reveal themselves to trainers who they think will be able to help them evolve. That's so cool, you explained. Your Pokemon crawled onto the nearest couch like they always did when, when it's late. What do you mean when it's always late? We've only had these people for like two days! <laughs> <laughs> it's always two <Yeah>. days. <laughs> Wait, 
But where are you going to sleep? Oh, wait, hold on. Fuck, I skipped ahead. <laughs> Who was it going to let you sleep in his bed? Wait, but where were you going to sleep? You asked him. He answered. Oh, don't worry about me. I'll just sleep on the floor. But you're the guest, so you should take the bed. Oh my god, are they going to argue? And they're both going to take the bed? I hope. That's the cliche. Yeah. Before you can stop yourself, you said to him, Maybe we can share the bed. You'll sleep on one side and I'll sleep on the other. He said. He said, Alright, that sounds like a good idea. He crawled onto his bed and sure enough, a little while later, he joined you. You easily fell asleep that night. Fucking knew it. It, it played into the same fucking trope of Oh no, all the- almost all the rooms are taken, but there's one left and it only has one bed! <laughs> oh no! Looks like you're gonna have to share it! <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 5, they fucking- Oh! <laughs> Can you imagine if that's how it went? <laughs> the end. Yeah. Yeah, the next, like, 15 chapters are just author's notes. <laughs> All you. Alright. Chapter 5. Mela Mela Meadow. The next day when you got up, Torres wasn't there anymore. You couldn't find him anywhere. You eventually found a note on the table written in what appeared to be his handwriting. Dear 30S, please meet me outside, if it's not too much trouble. Sincerely, Torres. You turned your Pokemon to their balls in case he wanted to battle again. You left the room and rode down the elevator. When you got outside, Colrez was standing there waiting for you. Come with me, he said in a soft voice. You followed him to a fluffy Pokemon with clouds for wings. Uh, <laughs> Altadia! The Pokemon sang. Get on, Colrez said, still speaking in a gentle voice. He saw the nervous look on your face and asked, Oh, is that your first time riding a Pokemon? Just hold on to me and you'll be alright. Smash. Oh, I'm sorry, what was the question? <laughs> uh, the question was... Smash or pass? Smash. <laughs> okay. You hugged him tightly, not wanting to fall off. Wanna see something cool, he asked? You nodded. Korra's whistled, and the Alteria stopped flying and began to plummet to the ground. <laughs> you thought you were going to crash, but at the last second, the Pokemon began to fly again. Sorry if I scared you, Cora said. No, that was actually pretty fun, you said. You were both quiet for a while until you asked. So, where are we going anyways, Cora said. I'm going to Mila Mila Meadow to do some research, and I thought you wanted to come with me, he said in a sad voice. If you don't want to come with me, I can just take you back. No, it's alright, I'll go with you, he said. Good, Cora said in a content voice. You just kidnapped when us. You <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh, come over here. All right, now get on this Pokemon. And then he just took it to another location. <laughs> <laughs> when you finally got to Mel Mel Meadow, Torres returned his Alteria to her Pokemon, or to her Pokeball. Hmm. I don't see any Oricorio around, so maybe we should just wait for some to appear. Torres said. You're not really sure how it happened, but somehow you and Colrez ended up going for a walk together. Colrez already began to get tired, and he fell asleep on the ground. What, what the? Were huh? we just walking? <laughs> Bro, is that a common thing? Yeah, he has like, oh shit, what's the <laughs> disease where you just randomly fall asleep? That's a thing? I thought there was some kind of like... ...thing where you just randomly fall asleep. I'm looking up disease where you fall asleep. I don't think it's a disease, I think it's like a mental blockage or something. It's like the opposite narcolepsy? of like- Narcolepsy? Yeah, narcolepsy. Maybe he has narcolepsy. <laughs> <laughs> he's just tired and I was like, alright, I'm gonna just fall asleep here. See you next morning. Yeah, he's walking and then the, like, the second later he's like on the floor, like passed out when like the, the fucking Peter Griffin <laughs> like stance. <laughs> <laughs> The scent of flowers wafted through the air. Petals moved by the wind gently rained down from the sky. You lay down next to Colrez and in a bed of flowers. A blanket of petals covered you and you fell asleep. Bro, oh, what the hell? <laughs> when you woke up, you were surprised to see Colrez still sleeping with his arms wrapped around you. Whoa! Damn. What the fuck? It smashed. <laughs> 
You edged closer to him, but he woke up when he felt you moving. You're not leaving, are you? He asked. Of course not, you said. <laughs> we just met, he right? <laughs> I was just thinking, like, how long have they known each other? Yeah. Man, this is this is a, not a slow burner. <laughs> this is a fast. <laughs> this is a fast this burner. Is a, this is a fast cooker. <laughs> fast cooker. Instant pot. You twisted around crown of flowers and placed it on you. You wished you could stay with him forever, but the sun was starting to set. If you didn't leave soon, it would be too dark to get back to the hotel. Colrose realizes too, and he took out his Altaria again. On the way back, you said to Chorus, It's too bad you didn't find any of these Oricorio you were looking for. How? You were you already... fell asleep! <laughs> <laughs> of course you didn't find any! <laughs> you didn't even try! <laughs> yeah, you walked for a bit and fell asleep for most of the day! <laughs> his initial plan was to just fall asleep. Yeah. These Oricorio you were looking for. But Okurio were the last thing on his mind right now. Today was still fun though. You should just come with me to do research again sometime, he said. When he got to the hotel room, Korez opened the door. He went to bed and waited until he was... He went to bed next to you. Damn. He waited until he was asleep and played with his hair. What the... Okay, he wasn't <laughs> actually asleep though. He was just pretending to be. But you didn't know that. He usually hated having his hair touched, but he didn't stop you this time. He just waited until you were actually asleep and started hugging you. Bro, this is this is a far cry from what I read from the Harvey one. <laughs> yeah, this is like opposite of the Harvey. We're like we're on like what like winter year one and like we're finally getting somewhere with Harvey and then the, this one it's like two days. <laughs> first meeting and we were like uh, already this was Harvey's situation. He's like I gotta go. The clinic calls. Yeah, someone broke their skull again. <laughs> Again. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, fuck, what's her name? Ah, shit, I forgot. Haley's sister's name. Uh, she, she could have broke her, Yeah, Emily. She could have broke her, her skull. Yeah. We don't know. Just everyone breaking skulls left, right, and center. It's like the lore of the, the saloon. is like, whoever's the owner of the saloon will happen upon the ladder fate. <laughs> where they will slip Ooh. and fall into the basement. <laughs> okay. Yep. And have a massive medical bill! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and you will be in debt! Yeah, for like 20 years! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Alcohol Beach, let's go. <laughs> oh, that's a nice background. Oh yeah, it is a nice background. You should, uh, show that background. It's a nice background. Yeah, this is a real nice background. What's that picture? I should use this for the thumbnail and just put, like, Korra's, like, <laughs> like, fading in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'll figure out what some kind of thumbnail. <laughs> you got out of the bed and saw that Cora was already awake, eating breakfast at the kitchen table. How big is this hotel room? I thought it was like a bed <laughs> and like a shitty like kitchen with like a microwave and those mini fridges. <laughs> Bro, you think this is a motel? Yeah. He looked at you and said, I'm thinking about going to the beach today. Wanna come? You nodded and said, of course I'll go, but there's something I need to do first. Alright, I'll be waiting at the beach for you, Corey said. You walked out the door and went to the clothing store at Hia Hia City. I don't think I said that right. <laughs> you I actually do not know how to pronounce that. Yeah. I think it's he he. I have no idea. I have no idea. No, I'm looking up right now. I, I'm so curious now. He he city pronunciation. Yeah. To be fair, in the game, it doesn't really like speak that it <laughs> what was the name um i think he idea okay. kind of fits okay why am i on this red reddit thread I'm all right this is too much <laughs> <laughs> too much lore yeah, we're just saying he idea you look for a new swimsuit to wear but none of them looked good enough you eventually picked out a blue swimsuit with the lapras in the corner oh i would buy that for myself <laughs> You also bought some uh, I love Lapras. Yes, Lapras is so cool. And you put your new clothes on, on the fitting room. You went over to the beach but didn't see Korra's anywhere. You figured he would be there soon, and you let out your Pokemon so they could play. Raichu was surfing on her tail. Oh, that means it was like the, the fucking alone one, so it's like psychic 
uh, electric. That's so cool. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah. In Aloha, like, that's when they introduce, like, regional forms, and Pikachu gets one. So when he applies them to Raichu, it's a psychic uh, electric type. Dang. Yeah. And he, like, floats around on his tail and sort of surfs on it. <laughs> Dang, he's like... <laughs> Daxorus was just sitting by the shore enjoying the nice view. Bygone kept splashing Daxorus and she caught angry at him and started chasing him. Arcanine and Rocket Ruff were sitting on the sand because water made them uncomfortable. <laughs> oh yeah, because there's a rock and a, and a fire type. Oh yeah. Zora was sitting with them too because she didn't like getting her fur wet. Kermis walked over with two... Oh, Castilia cones? I remember those. It's little ice creams from fucking Castilia City. Castilia cones? Yeah, it's it's like one of the, like, the... So Castilia and Gen 5 is based off of New York, and in there they have, like, a little, like, ice cream, like, stand with, like, Castilia cones. And it's kind of like a full heel kind of thing. Uh-huh. And, oh, they're so... They, they look like little, like, vanillites. With the little ice cream cone Pokemon. They're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> These used to be really popular back where I'm from, he said. He handed me one and you took a lick of it and realized it was the most amazing thing you've ever tasted. Bug got right over to you and tried to steal your food, but you told him, You can't have this. You'll get sick if you eat it. Cora said, Cora said, Actually, Pokemon love these too, and it heals them from sad conditions as well. You let Bye Guy try a little, but he just devoured the whole thing in a single bite. <laughs> Damn. What the fuck, Bygone? It's mine! Cora <laughs> <laughs> started laughing, but if, but it felt amazing to see that you had made him smile. You put Bygone in your lap and fed him some berry. You're gonna feed him more? He just ate your ice cream! <laughs> He's gotta evolve into that, uh... Sa Sala... Yeah, what is Salamance, it? Salamance, yeah. Oh, like, that's level up, not friendship. <laughs> no, he's gotta eat more to grow big. Yeah, I guess you're right. And Daxter just walked over and stole them from him. She ran away from them, getting revenge on what Bygone had done earlier. In a fit of rage, he tried to headbutt Daxter's, but she was too fast for him. He tried to get his food back, but Daxter's ate the berries before he could catch her. Corvus figured it would be a good idea to bury you in the sand. He felt his gentle touch as, you, as he covered you in warm sand, but when Bygone started pouncing on you so he could see your reaction, he picked him up and placed him beside you, but he just started jumping on you again. Looks like he wants to play with you, Clara said. So you threw a stick for Bygone to play with- Is he a fucking dog? <laughs> yeah, he's a dog now. Yeah. But- Dragon dog. Yeah. But roughly took him a- Oh, Rough Ruff took it before he could catch it. Ark and I ran over and wrestled the sick away from Rock Ruff. You let Ark, you let Ark and I and Rock Ruff play tug of war with the stick, but you lifted Bygone up in the air. You fed him a rainbow Pika Bean, and he fell asleep on your shoulder. But you did not just say Pika Bean when Poke Bean. When my we're bad. talking about Pokemon. Sorry, I'm so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I my brain somewhere else. Also, I find it funny that like this big ass dog, like Arcanine, is playing tug of war with Rough Rock, a small puppy. <laughs> so I can just see yeah, the like, win. Yeah, you know, I'll just like I see like and now like Rough has got like the little stick in his mouth, and then like Arcanine just picks up the stick with his mouth, and and like Rock Ruff is like in the air <laughs> holding on <laughs> for dear life. <laughs> A little while later, you sat down with Kores and watched the sunset. How romantic. <laughs> they had been perfect. Mm -hmm. You and Kores were going to watch the, s the sun go down together and then sleep under the stars. Kores had something on his mind that he wanted to tell you for a while. What do you mean for a while? It's been three days! <laughs> yeah, you guys slept together, but now he's just telling you this. Yeah, but he was too nervous to say it. He decided that now would be the perfect time to tell you. Hey, 3DS, would it be alright if I told you a secret? Koraz asked. Sure, what is it? You asked curi curiously. He said, well, it's just that I sort of 
You got interrupted by the sound of footsteps. You were horrified to see that it was none other than Hal. God. God damn, damn fucking Hal fucking cock blocking us. <laughs> Hal looked over at you and asked, Wait, is is that that wait, is that that guy that you kept telling me about? He looks like a total nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, what is Hal the best wing man? Wait, tears streamed down your face as you ran back to the hotel, but Koras could see you crying. For what? What? <laughs> oh, wait, why are you- why is the reader crying, not I no Koras? Idea. I thought Koras would just go off running. I have no idea. Uh, he ran after you and yelled, Wait, 3DS, I have something to tell you! You ran faster. You went back to the hotel room. I love that song by Pitbull. <laughs> The hotel room. Oh, what is it? It's called hotel room. Well, I think it's a hotel room service. <laughs> you locked the door in behind you. You splashed cold water in your face and sat on the bed until you stopped crying. <laughs> you changed out your, your swimsuit and put on normal clothes. How could things go so downhill so quickly? What? Nothing went wrong. How just interrupted? He's like, wow, that's the guy. Total nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I could have just played it off. Yeah. Maybe Chorus didn't even want me there with him, but he's too polite to ask me to leave. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you thought to yourself, you heard a knock at the door and opened the door to let Chorus in. Yeah, you can't just lock the dude out of his own hotel room, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> 3DS, is everything alright? You seem pretty sad about something, Chorus said. It's nothing. You, you lied. <laughs> Because I've been thinking, I've been, I'm going to go for a while so I can focus on my trials more. He had a, a crestfallen look on his face. You're leaving? He asked with a sad voice. It'll only be for a little while. I'll be back soon. Akoraz didn't say anything. He just sat in the corner wondering if, how he would sleep a night without you. What the? <laughs> Yep. They're like lovers at this point. Yeah, sorry for sad ending. Promise a lot better in chapter 8 and 9. <laughs> you better. There better be some good shit. I'm listening to this Pitbull song now. Because I haven't listened to this in a while. What? Pitbull? Uh, meet, me at the ho meet me at the hotel room. Forget about your boyfriend and meet me at the hotel <laughs> Yeah, I think it's called Hotel Room Service. I have it on my playlist. <laughs> At the, I like I love seeing my playlist because like you can see like when I got into certain things and like at the very bottom of my playlist is like four pitbull songs. <laughs> let me let me find it real quick because it makes me laugh. Just like all right, what four are they? What four? Yeah. I think he said two oh two something something. So I'm assuming the second floor. Yeah, I have, I have Give Me Everything, Fireball, Hotel Room Service, and I Know You Want Me. <laughs> <laughs> and then right at the, the, the last two songs I added were You Spin Me Round and Eating Food in the Shower. <laughs> <laughs> uh. They're really good songs, I promise. <laughs> Eat food in the shower. Dude, it, it's from Ninja Sex Party. There's there's such a good band. I highly recommend them. They play other good songs like uh, Orgy for One's pretty good. They did Mansion Party. There's First Date. Uh, I think there's one called Courtship with a Mermaid. There's also No Reason Bur Boner. That one's pretty funny. Uh huh. What? No, no reason what? It, it's called No Reason Boner. It's really funny. <laughs> uh. Yeah, and there's also <laughs> Peppermint Creams. <laughs> that, one, <laughs> that one's pretty funny. I like that one. It's like comedy songs. Alright, what, what the fuck is this one? Oh, we're, we're actually doing the trials! Holy shit! <laughs> A call of trials. Yep. 
alcohol trials. <laughs> ah, sorry, alcohol trials. Oh, yeah, I can't believe you got the name wrong. Yeah. God dang it. So you. All right. Chapter seven: Alcohol trials. It had been days since you last seen Cora's. You needed to do something to take your mind off of him. You wished you had never left him. You decided you should finish your next trial to distract yourself. You headed over to Brooklyn Hill to complete the water type trial. When you got there, you saw Lana, the trial captain who was fishing. She looked at you and asked, Are you alright? You don't look that well. You replied, I'm fine. I just haven't slept that much lately. But that's not why I'm here. I need to complete my trial. Alright then. You're not going to need this, she said, handing you a fishing rod. You surfed on her Lapras she let you borrow. You put the fa you put the fishing rod into some piles of rocks, but all you could find were a few small wishy-washy, which, which uh, Dartrix easily defeated. You heard monstrous splashing coming from somewhere. You put the fishing rod into some bubbling water and fished up a huge Iraq Araquanid. I think that's bug water. Araquanid. I think they're trying to combine the words arachnid and aqua. I think so. I mean, it is like a spider looking thing. Spider water. That that would be horrifying. I swear, I would never step foot into the ocean if I saw that. Yeah, I know. If if you saw a big ass water bug, I would never either. It's just on the surface of the water, just fucking just walking towards you. Yeah. I'm like, yep. All right. Yep. That's enough beach time for today. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'll see you in ten years. Yeah. All right. The totem Pokemon's aura flashed to life, and its stats rose. Dartrix used a Razor Leaf because it's super effective on water types, but it only did normal damage because it's not very effective on bug, type, bug types. Dartrix used Pluck and it was super effective, but the Totem Pokemon used Bug Bite and it was super effective on Dartrix. Her HP went into the red, and used, but she still used Pluck one last time. Araquanid made her faint, so you send out Raichu. Raichu had already evolved twice, so she was much stronger than some of your other, some of your Pokemon that hadn't evolved at all. She quickly surfed across the water on her tail, and shot electricity out of her cheeks. The totem Pokemon fainted, and your trial was finished. Great job, Lana said, handing you your water AMC. You headed over to the Poke Center so your Pokemon could rest. You felt a little bit better than you already did earlier, but not much. But you didn't feel like doing more trials now, but they were the only things you could do to distract yourself from everything that was going on. You went to the well of Volcano Park to complete Kiawi's trial. You had to defeat a bunch of Salandi- <laughs> I'm, I'm having trouble <laughs> pronouncing these. I swear, every single time I see a name, Salandit. my brain just buffered. Salandit. There's like so many names that I haven't like said before. I'm just like, uh, Slandy, Kawawi, Wella, Volcano Park. <laughs> and then Battle the Totem Marowak. Since it was a fire type, Marowak. you had Bagon. <laughs> Mar Marowak? Marowak. I know that's like the evolved form of. The Cubone? what's that bone Pokemon? Cubone. Cubone, yeah, yeah. Cubone. Yeah, Marowak Since gets it... like a cool uh, Alolan form where it's like a fire ghost type. Yeah, he has like that cool mask looking thing. Yeah. Since it was a fire type, you had Bagon use Hydro Pump on it. It did a lot of damage, but Bagon was at a slight disadvantage because he hadn't evolved yet. Marowak used Flamethrower. But it wasn't very effective. Dagon used Hydro Pump again, but it missed this time. Marowak used Boomerang, and it was a critical hit. Dagon nearly fainted, but he pushed himself to a dirty attack. He used Hydro Pump one last time, and then Marowak fainted. All of a sudden, 
Dragon began to glow. He turned to what seemed like a cocoon made of shields, and he grew two more legs. Wow, you're a Shogun now, he exclaimed. Shogun seemed to be extremely happy that he was one step closer to fulfilling his dream of being able to fly. Kiwawe congratulated you and he handed, and handed you a fiery Z. He gave the Z crystal to Arcan, Ar Arcanine. Yes, Ar Arcanine. Arcanine. Yep. Good job, buddy. Oh, Arcanine, because it's like a fire dog. Oh my god. It's like <laughs> fire canine. So it could use Inferno Overdrive. You healed your Pokemon at the Poke Center one last time and headed over to Mallow's Trial at the Lush Jungle. You had to defeat a bunch of Bomantis and then be and then battle the Totem Lurantis. You led Dartrix battle instead of Ar Arcanine because she really wanted to battle for some reason. Dartrix used Pluck, which did a ton of damage since it's super effective. Lurantis attacked and Dartrix was hurt. But she used Pluck again, and landed a critical hit. Lurantis was about to faint, but it called its ally Pokemon, a Trumbeak. Trumbeak used Peck, and it was super effective. He switched to Arcanine, because Dartrix was in trouble. Arcanine used his Z-Power, and Trumbeak fainted. Dartrix's Pokeball began to move around in your bag. You decided to let her battle again, because she wanted it so badly. You sent her into battle, and she used Pluck again. Lorantis fainted and Dartrix was surrounded by a familiar glow. She was evolving too. She turned into Decidueye. Is it Decidueye? Yay, you did it! <laughs> yeah, I played this game before. I think I remember. Did you play Legends? You... Legends? Yeah, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, I forget. Maybe? Maybe not. I mean, he's in that game. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I did then. Right. Your first Pokemon was an adult now. Wow, that was amazing. Mallow, sh Mallow exclaimed as you gave her the grass crystal. Thanks, you said. You were proud of your Pokemon for evolving, but you were also exhausted from all the trials you did. But even after the trials you did, you still missed Colrus. <laughs> Shame, nothing will ever compare to us missing Colrus. I think that's gonna do- unless you want to do one more. Uh, how how long is the next one? It's probably the same length. Oh, it's pretty it's pretty short, yeah. Okay, I'll go ahead and read then. You you could read that one. Sorry, I got scared by some kind of person starting a motorcycle outside. <laughs> Chapter eight, <laughs> an unexpected visitor. I wonder if it's Cora's. Hmm, I wonder. It's been over a week since you've last seen Cora's, and you felt worse than ever. Dude, they spent more time apart than I have together. <laughs> You haven't been able to sleep in two days. You decided to finish Olivia's grand trial, so you have to deal with any more trials for a while. Oh, how the fuck do you pronounce that? You went to Kani Kani Island. Sorry, city. <laughs> Kani Kani Island. Kani 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 City. Yeah, I, I have no idea. So you could get your trial over with. You went to Olivia's shop, and sure enough, you saw her there. Can I complete your trial? You asked her. Sure, she smiled. She said, smiling. But don't think I'll go easy on you. She's like starts battling you right in the middle of the shop. <laughs> <laughs> Let's scrap. Put your fists up. Yeah, she punches you out. <laughs> you wake up on a wagon. <laughs> <laughs> you woke up. You're trying to cross the border. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. You're awake. <laughs> you went outside, but you didn't mess. So you wouldn't mess up her shop. Before you battled her, she said, I have an idea to make things more interesting. How about we both only battle with three Pokemon? You agree that it would be a good idea. Olivia sent out her first Pokemon, a Nose Pass. Oh yeah, she does Rock Pokemon, I think. Yeah, Rock Pokemon. You sent out Decidueye, and Olivia's Nose Pass used Thunder Wave. Decidueye used uh, Razor Leaf, but Olivia's Pokemon endured the hit because it had the ability Sturdy. Nose Pass used Rock Slide, and Decidueye lost half of her HP, but she used Razor Leaf again, and Nose Pass fainted. Olivia sent out her... Oh, fuck. Lycanroc. Yep, Lycanroc. Which used Crunch on Decidueye. She fainted because it was super effective. 
I like how they don't know that we- I know, like, the types. <laughs> and they have to be like, hey, by the way, that did a lot of damage because it was super effective. <laughs> <laughs> you, you sent out Sheldon, but Olivia's Pokemon use its Z-move. Continental Crunch. Sheldon nearly fainted, but used Hydro Pump, which made Lycoroc faint. Next, Olivia sent out her last Pokemon, Bulldor. <gasps> I know that one! That's Gen 5! <laughs> Sheldon used Hydro Pump again, but, uh, but Bulldor also had the ability Sturdy. Bulldor used Headbutt, and Sheldon fainted. You sent out Zora, who used her Z-move <laughs> Breakneck Blitz. It wasn't very effective, but it did a lot of damage. Bordo used Headbutt, but Zora dodged the attack and used Faint Attack, and Bordo fainted. Phew, that was a that was a close battle! Olivia says she, she gave you the Rockism Z. You could have seen You should have been happy that you finished your trial, but you didn't. I wonder why. <laughs> you knew that it, you knew what you had to do. You went back to Tai Sung Hotel and it took you about two hours to walk all the way there. Why walk? <laughs> Can't you call a taxi? <laughs> These people are Get those calories burned. Yeah, I guess. You walked up to the receptionist and asked, Is Cora still here? She searched the records in her computer and said, He left a few days ago. We don't have any rooms for all the trainers on their but on their island challenge, so we had to remove him to make more space. You just kicked him out. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. You felt yourself beginning to cry again. You ran to the nearest Poke Center and try and cry in the corner. <laughs> <I can't laughs> you literally just you literally just walked in the corner and cried. Damn. He can literally be anywhere in the world. You thought to yourself. You realize you you would never see him again, and that you never even said goodbye. Damn. Damn, that sucks. It's time to finish your trials, girl. It's fine. <laughs> you felt yourself beginning to cry again. Oh, wait. Fuck. I almost read that again. <laughs> you, you went to, the, to cry in the bathrooms, so people wouldn't <laughs> stop staring at you. No shit, you just watched the pull one center and started crying in the corner. You looked in the mirror and saw that you had dark circles on your eyes. You put cold water on your face like you usually did whenever you cried. It always helped. But not this time. <laughs> you went to the cat. No, why did they add that to an You you put cold water on your face like you usually did whenever you cried? Yeah. That's that's kinda sad. Yeah, it is kinda sad. Maybe we're depressed. Is crying like a usual thing? Maybe 3DS is used to crying a lot. <laughs> You, you went to the cafe and ordered a Kamala coffee because you were so tired. You took us to the corner with you and rolled up into a ball. People gave you strange looks as they saw you crying. What the fuck is wrong with us? <laughs> <laughs> you turned face the other way so no one would see you. You heard footsteps which, caused, which seemed to be getting closer and closer. There was a tall shadow on the ground, what appeared to be a person. You felt like someone was standing over you. But who was it? You looked up and saw who it was. It was Corez. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I swear the last chapter also ended on the word Corez. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were like, we should be happy that we did this. But we weren't. We were still thinking about Corez. It's Kores. like the author's just saying, like, oh, don't forget about Corez. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this fanfiction that we specifically picked out because it had him. Exactly. Yeah, don't forget about him. He's still here. So what'd you think? <laughs> pretty good so far. It's pretty fast. Yeah, this this is not faster a faster than burner. Harvey. Yeah, this is the opposite of a slow burner. This is a fast cooker. <laughs> <laughs> fast cooker. Yeah. Instant pot. Yeah, it, yeah, it's an instant pot. That should be the tag now. Yeah. Oh, I'm putting that as a tag on the video. I'm gonna be like Instant Pot. <laughs> this is opposite of Slow Burrs and Instant Pot. We're a fast cooker. Instant Pot and just put Colra's PNG image in there. <laughs> in the tag? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do that for the thumbnail. I'll put like, Instant Pot? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> People are gonna think it's, we're talking about cooking when in reality we're talking about like the opposite of a Slow Burr. <laughs> <laughs> Some like cooking people just click the video and yeah. it's just. It's, it's like, what the heck? It's yeah. fanfic. Yeah, it's like, what's up, guys? We're reading Pokemon fanfiction. 
We got Cora's here. <laughs> we should do like a short little segment just to bamboozle them. Like, what's up? We're here with our instant cook pot. <laughs> we're gonna be cooking rice and eggs and meat. Yeah, all in the same pot. <laughs> eggs, ah. meat, and rice in the same pot. <laughs> <laughs> That's possible. Yeah, I don't think it would taste very good though. I've never tried it. I don't know. We'll do. Maybe we'll do a kicking segment. <laughs> Well, I guess if you guys would like to check out this book, I'll have a link down below in the description for you guys to check out. But uh, now it's time for everyone's favorite subject. Uh, sed subject. <laughs> subject. <laughs> segment. <laughs> where uh, I, I we spin this magical wheel and we see how fucked we are the next time we have to schedule a recording session. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, so as long as it doesn't land on Cora's X reader, then we'll read whatever it says. Crafting table. Oh. Okay, we're reading. <laughs> we're reading Stardew Valley again. <laughs> Thanks, Sebastian. Yeah, very popular. I love Sebastian. Yeah, I know a lot of people that love Sebastian. And then I know a lot of idiot girls that like Sam because he's a blonde and he plays guitar. <laughs> <laughs> so why not put the two together, you know? Exactly. It has that kind of like sun and moon kind of thing going on. Like golden retriever boyfriend versus like black cat boyfriend kind of thing. Two negatives make a positive. Yeah, see? Yeah, it works out. It's fine. Isn't it like a thing with magnets where one has to be negative, one has to be positive for them to like connect? Yes, that opposite. Yeah, that's, that's Sam and Sebastian right there. <laughs> Exactly. That, that's all of them. Well, anyway, I guess next time I drag Minho into a recording session, we'll be reading Sam X Sebastian. I think we have one saved for us to just pop up. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, well, my name is Phoenix. That was Minho. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! Yeah.